Hi, I'm Chad. I've been on this earth for 27 years now. So, rounding up, I'm 30. Fuck! Anyway, the time that I've been here, I learned quite some stuff. And this so-called stuff can be labeled as life lessons for me. Of course, it depends per person. But I make this video hoping to help you. And also for myself, so that I won't forget. forget. Here we go. Number one. Remember that everyone has a different perspective of the world. These perspectives come from three different things. Well, at least the main things. Number one is how you've been raised. Number two, what you learn from your own experience. And number three, just the, the culture in your country. These are the most important. Because of this, people see the world different than you. And you always have to remember that. What I'm trying to say is don't judge the people uh, too quickly. Don't give them labels instantly. Listen to their story and what they're all about. Number two, communication goes deep. Learn about neuro-linguistic programming. Actually, a good book is from Robbins. I got it right here. Anthony Robbins, it's called. I have the, 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 the Dutch version. It's called Je, Unge Je Ongekende Vermogens. Try to pronounce that as, an, as a foreign person. But it's uh, in English, it's translated like the, the power within, I think. But I'll look it up for you guys. Yes, yes. This book learns you how your brain works. Uh, what motivates people, what motivates you, it's, uh, it, shit goes so deep, it's insane, it really helped me a lot. It's just very interesting and I re recommend it to everyone and I wish I read it when I was like 16. Number 3, your own potential is unlimited, only your own beliefs stop you from doing it. Well to make it simple, everybody is a genius, is a genius, genius. Genius. To make it simple, and this is a quote from Albert Einstein, I'm gonna read it up. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Also through what people said when you grew up, uh, it also creates your beliefs. People say, oh you can do this, you, you, you can do that, you'll never get there. And at some point you will hear it so many times, you will start believing it. And then you think yourself, like, I'm not capable of doing it. But remember, your potential is unlimited, you can do what you want, but not climb a tree. What I'm trying to say is, well if you really want it, you can do it. <laughs> Let's make America great again. <laughs> Fucking Trump. Number four, you make your own rules. You determine it. For example, and just think about this one. What is the definition of success to you? You know, for some people, having a million dollar, euro, whatever on their bank, for them, that's the definition of successful. While for other people, just being able to get out of bed every morning, being grateful for what they have, for them, that might be success. And success for me personally, success is not giving up. If something doesn't work out and you fail or whatever, you try it again, you fail again. It's whatever, just go a different path then. Just don't give up, just continue. Don't, don't stay still, just go, go, go. Don't give up, don't give up. Baby, give it up, give it up. Baby, give it up. No. Number five, do what makes you happy. Don't do things because people are expecting from you. I mean, I'm 27 now, ouch. And normally people would expect me to already have a house, kids, a full-time job, car, whatever. I do not have it. It's basically just what the system expects from you. You know, you finish your study, you get a full-time job, you find a girlfriend, you get married, you get kids, you buy a house, you get a mortgage, you get all that shit. I say to you, system, F you and your bullshit expectations. Number six, get out of your comfort zone. Go do stuff that makes you scared. Go travel. Go talk to that random girl or boy. And I can guarantee you, you will feel energy that you have never experienced before. It's amazing. Number seven, take time for yourself. Breathe in, breathe out. Number eight, don't overthink. Just don't do it. Trust me on this one. In the end, the overthinking will always lead to negative thoughts and you create problems in your head which aren't even there. It makes you crazy. Just accept what happened, let it go, and the next day is a new day. And yes, I know 
sometimes it's easier said than done because if you're lying in bed you you intentionally just start thinking but try not to overthink and it, it can be hard i still have the problem by overthinking some things and then in the end i'm like oh it's not cool just try to master it you know just don't overthink number nine no action is no reaction so you don't take action nothing happens no action no reaction you want a new job go for it take action you like this boy or girl go for it take action you want to move places go for it take action and you will get a reaction because later on when you're 80 years old and you didn't take the action that you that you want to do in the past then you will have like this regret feeling over you and that's terrible because at that point you're 80 years old and you think back and you know your time's almost up and you never took the action that you wanted to and if you think about it it's you don't want it like that no take action and you get a reaction no regrets no regret because if you did take the action and you get a positive reaction you can have something for life something that we always remember maybe the best moment the best years of your life you don't know take action all right this was my video i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions just ask in the comments i will answer them all thank you for watching and i will see you on the side all right